<laughs> Hi Bobbos! And welcome to this week's edition of Bam Fan TV with On The Watch videos. Another busy weekend for Bam Fan TV. We covered three parades last weekend. So on Saturday night, for the first time, we went to Gold Springs Parade in Comber. It stayed dry, unlike some parades, but we had a fantastic time while we were there. Elaine went live and you can get all the footage on our Facebook page. But if you would, please subscribe and share Bonfan TV on YouTube. My goodness, I think Gertrude brought all the kids that there was in East Belfast <laughs> with them. It's fantastic to see so many young people in the band and it just shows you how much the youth are involved within our marching bands. And they said that wasn't them all. They told me that there's actually 26 young leaders at Clayton Chris. Dear goodness, <laughs> there'll be a handful in the 12th day. That's for sure. So Gertrude were in good form in Cumbria. On Saturday afternoon we were at the Billy Selm Memorial Parade and we really want to thank James, the band sergeant from Kamlaki Loyal Star, who done the five question interview. So that interview is coming up next, along with a clip of Kamlaki, and then we're going to finish off with a favourite of mine, the City of Belfast Five Syndromes. Yeah. This is Bond Fan TV. We're doing the five question interview today. We're in Bally Selling. It was this Bally Selling Memorial Parade. I have James with me, and James is from Kamlaki Loyal Star, and he's our first overseas five question interview. Thank you very much for doing this, James. No problem, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. First question is simple. Uh, what age did you join your first band? Uh, I was 15, just turning 16 when I joined Kamlaki. It's the only band I've ever been in. And it's on the band I will be in. Uh, what made me join the band was basically music. Uh, I was in Parkhead Juveniles and we always braided behind Kamaki. So for a young age of five, 
Kilwaki was all my band, yeah. but it was also a family band and I didn't really know too many in it, so until I could basically stand for myself, uh, I become basically like a young adult, uh, that's when I uh, went down and joined the band, I got introduced to the band through John Kelly, uh, he took me down, my mum didn't know that thing, and then when I came in beside him, it was kind of... Right, he's done it. So it was always, it was always on the pipeline, but uh, yeah, I've done it, and for uh, thirty now, I've enjoyed every parade in the hall as well. Was there bands in the family? Was any other uh, family member in bands? No, uh, it was no. just the orange. My family was always related to the orange. As I say, I was in there when I was a juvenile. Yeah. Uh, until, as I say, what happened in Parkhead was the juveniles finished. Uh, they got defuncted. Right. When they went up to the juniors, uh, so it was like a shock space I wasn't involved in it but it was just the music I just always loved the music and nah. it's something mm. pleasing to hear. Well talking about music then do you have a favourite tune? A uh, favourite tune? That's a hard one but I would say they're not a tune that come close to the band playing the Sash going around Parkhead Cross. Nah. Uh, obviously Parkhead Cross gets its own recognition that but uh, when I got brought into the band, it was uh, a man that holds so dearly to me. His name is Jimmy Dunsmore. Sadly, he's no longer with us. And he always told me that you've got some great bands in Scotland that has them like your black skull on it. Mm -hmm. But when you get Kim Larky playing the Sasha Parkhead Cross and what a crowd, well, yeah. and it does, it's still to this day, it's, as a band subject, it's a tune I'll always play when I'm in the cross, because every time I play it, I think of Jimmy. Yeah. And it's it's a tear my eye, but when you hear this, the, crowd outside it's, it's very very touching and Give yeah, me it's, it's, oh, it's heartwarming. Uh -huh. yeah. And then a favourite parade then would that be? Uh, favourite parade? The band do quite a lot. Uh, I love, I don't know, I, I, some strange reason I love parading in Edinburgh. Right? Uh, I don't know, it's just something about Edinburgh. Uh, obviously Belfast is, the 12th is the 12th. Barber Southern is for what we stand for. Yeah. It's it will always be there. Uh, the bands, I've done many great parades, you know, yeah. every time I've got a uniform on I just love the parade, wow. so it doesn't matter where or when, it's just, but, uh, I think waking up in the 12th morning and putting your uniform on is, uh, that, there's something about the 12th, it's just, yeah. it doesn't matter, you're just, I, I reckon probably most bands remember, say the same, you put your uniform on the 12th, it's, that, you got special, yeah, yeah it really is. You have a great relationship and you've been coming over here quite a while. Can you explain the relationship between Kamlaki and Billy Zimmel? Yep, uh, the Barber Southern Memorial Parade has been gone for 22 years, I'm sure. The band's attended 21. Yeah. Uh, and as long as the parade's gone, the band will be here. Yes. Uh, it's not the most glamorous parade, it's not the most. Uh, but it means a lot to the band. Uh, we carry the standards, we respect the, the people up here been against, so yeah, as long as, as, long as the play goes, we'll, we'll be here. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for doing this, James. All That's right. a five question interview. Alright, thank you. Hey, yeah. Thanks for your time. Thank okay. you.
So James was our first Scottish bandsman to take part in our five question interview and we really do appreciate it. We're back in Scotland in a week and a half and maybe we'll catch up with Lark Hall and we might be able to get one or two more. So coming up next we have Sergeant White Memorial from Bush. We don't normally see them up and around these neck of the woods so it's great to have them on Banfan TV. I think they've only been on a couple of times before. Yeah and we're going to finish with Leg and Annie Accordion who we've seen at Corbett's Parade on Friday night. It was a great parade and a great turnout. We had about 31 bands and it was a good evening with Stay Dry. It did Stay Dry. And all the videos from Corbett's Parade are on our Facebook and also on our YouTube. And talking of accordions, yep. if you are interested in joining an accordion band in the Belfast area, Lord Carson are looking for new members, mm -hmm. not only to play the accordion but also drums. So please do get in touch with them. They have a wee advert out on their Facebook page, so if you're interested, you'll catch them there, send them a wee message, they'll be over the moon to hear from you. So, until we see you when we're back on the march again, please don't forget to subscribe, share our videos, and like our Facebook page. And until the next time, don't forget to keep following us, following, following them, them, and see you all soon. Bye. Goodbye.